Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're gonna celebrate maxing my town line walls on Apollyon. Now, I wanna be very clear and concise when I say that Apollyon is not the Town Hall 9 Let's Play account. That is Jasper. Apollyon has kind of been my passive Town Hall 9 account. I've been using it for collaborations with other YouTubers. I've been use, uh, using it for, you know, visiting other clans for wars and doing streams on and whatnot. This is a different account that I've been just passively farming lately using MSMD, which is primarily a mass witch attack, but it does have a few components, you know, the golem. We've got ourselves some clan castle bowlers, and then also just the spell placement and stuff that makes it distinctly different from any other attack. And I've been farming walls using MSMD, and as you saw on this account, on this this base, uh, it had over 800,000 gold and a lot of elixir, a lot of dark elixir, over 5,000 dark elixir, guys, just on this dead Town Hall 9, I believe. And what was amazing about the strategy is the overwhelming 3-star on this base. And I didn't even have clan castle troops. My golem didn't pop. I mean, it was just an overwhelming 3-star. Look at that loot, guys. Apollyon bringing it down. And it's a, it's a good day. By the way, hold on. There we go. That is a Town Hall 9 spawn base to ensure that the new Halloween obstacle actually spawns on the outside. This is a Town Hall 9 version. I actually built two different Town Hall 9 versions. Be looking forward to the other one, which I think is better on my my next uh, Town Hall 9 Let's Play episode. But here we go, guys. Look at that. We've got uh, both of the Halloween uh, obstacles from previous years. I'm hoping to get the third one here. And then I've got both Christmas trees actually over here. So, um, yeah, just got it all set up. But anyway, the whole point of the the video guys if i go to edit and remove all the walls look at that four town hall or four level nine walls left 246 level 10 so today we're going to be maxing the walls on my apollyon town hall nine accounts i yes i have two town hall nine accounts and what the best part about this guys is that with max walls i'm actually going to be starting a new series more information on that later but anyway let's get this thing going guys i've got my army i've got clan castle troops everything is set up and ready i'm going to find myself a, a base but before i do that i do want Want to announce something huge that is coming and that is that today is Sunday um, what is it October the 29th okay so uh, Sunday October the 29th our two-year anniversary what I've called the Klaus anniversary is on November 6th which is next Monday not tomorrow but the Monday after that and so we have several very important and interesting look at that spawn base perfect good job uh the you have an open spot though that's not good but <laughs> uh, bad loot anyway so we have some special events planned guys be sure and follow me on my Twitter my Instagram my Facebook and of course join the discord server to get information on all of that I am doing some daily giveaways on my Twitter I plan on doing at least at least three of those before the event takes place so definitely follow me on twitter for giveaways and uh but we just we have some streams we have a patreon war that is planned to end on the 5th which is the day before so be sure and become a patron to get access to that do that as soon as you can because i don't know when we're going to be opening up the clan it's going to be very soon though so all these amazing things are happening and there we go guys osama 500,000 golden elixir. Now, of course, I want to remind you guys that MSMD is extremely dark elixir heavy. This is not the army that you want to do, that you want to use to farm dark elixir. But if all you're looking for, and that's all I've been doing, is farming for walls, it ap it, this is absolutely one of the best attacks because I, as I showed you guys earlier, three star all the time with this strategy. So the trick to this strategy is not necessarily the deployment uh, the, the location of the deployment, but the spell placement. And so what we're going to do is we're going to deploy in a way to where we're going to be able to get most of our troops into this base. I'm going to go after the base from the queen side, even though there's no queen there. And the reason for that is because, yes, this is how simple the deployment is, guys. Get them all down. Post. Uh, let's put a couple of wizards down. Let's also jump over this compartment here. And put the wizard in behind. That's literally how easy it is to deploy these troops, guys. Let's uh, put the jump spell into this compartment here. Is actually good because it's going to lead everybody into uh, the center of the base. But let's put down our heal. 
And let's also put down our Rage Bell. Raged Bowlers. The bowler should turn into the center here in a moment and to completely dominate the center of this base. But this is MSMD. Literally laying down your witches all in a line. You want to make sure you get the corners as well. That way you get a nice funnel. Papa King's ability just because I can. It's poison over the enemy king at the same time. Um, and then you want to jump into the biggest compartment in the middle. Obviously, you've got to entry into the base, but also I jumped into this corridor compartment because it opened up the entire base for me. And um, lastly, of course, you want to heal and rage those Clan Castle Bowlers into the center because they do a lot of work while they're out there. And as you can see, guys, I mean, you've got skeletons, you've got wizards, you've got witches, you've got an unpopped golem, king and queen, everybody still out there. And it wasn't even a dead base. They had, had an upgrading expo, so it's a developing base. Uh, but also didn't have a queen, because likely this guy, Osama, just logged out. Uh, but overall, almost every single time, this is a three-star. And um, I'm kind of proving that here now. Now, I don't necessarily want the extra trophies. Uh, but look, look at that. This is like 500 skeletons. This is crazy how many skeletons there are. Go, buddies. That's right, now they're gonna break through here, they're gonna make their way toward this bomb tower. This bomb tower is gonna wreck some skeletons, Queen's gonna come in from behind. It's gonna be the three star. I didn't even have time to pop the Queen's ability. And there is the nasty, beautiful three star. Um, with the loot bonus of 70,000, we got over 650,000 gold and nearly 600,000 elixir. Again, this is not a dark elixir farming army. So, not a recommended to use if you need dark elixir, which I probably do. My heroes are only level 23, but again, I'm mostly uh, focusing on the um, on the golden elixir to max out our walls. So, I just requested for some bowlers. King will wake up in 22 minutes. We're not going to bother with the king. And actually, I think we should go out and attack with that our, our clan castle. It's 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 to show you guys that this strategy works. You might not three star without your king. You might not three star without your bowlers. But you will still do a fine job of attacking and taking loot without your heroes. I mean, the witch army is strong enough. MSMD is strong enough to where it can do just fine on its own. So right now, we're going to attack without our king, without CC. We do have our queen, and we're going to try to find ourselves another amazing base with a ton of loot to max out Apollyon's walls. And um, just like last time, I finished up my thought, and we looked up and we saw an amazing base. So hoping to run into that so that I don't have to cut. I, I like to try to be as organic with you guys as possible in these videos, but the, um, the, the base is not presenting itself. So let me find us a solid base, and... And you and I are going to wreck it together. And of course, I want to mention that chilling down here in Crystal League. In Crystal, the, the mother load of loot is down in Crystal League. I, I try my best to find those massive loot grabs that are dead bases. But hey, on occasion, I find an amazing base that's not dead. And we still attack it because it ain't about that. It's about the loot. So let me find us a base and uh, we'll hit it together. And here we go, guys, the dead base. Town Hall 9, is it actually dead? It's not actually dead. I mean, there's stuff upgrading. But overall, you're looking at a base that hasn't been logged into in a while. We're looking at 600,000 elixir, 539,000 gold is not bad either, and 3,200 dark elixir won't cover our cost completely, but it will help. So what we're going to do with this base in particular, since it's such a compartmentalized base, we might struggle without our king. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack this base on the side that has the most elixir. And I think, based on just kind of... Glancing at this base, I think attacking this base from the top left-hand side is the best because that's where all the elixir is. So let's put down our um, our arches in the corners. Let's also start. Let's do a two-finger deployment, which is on each side, just like so. There we go. Okay, king or golem down, uh, queen down, wizards on each side, one in the middle, and then we're gonna jump. Let's see if we can jump over and into one, two, three, right there. Yes. Okay. So we got all the way into that center compartment, which is perfect. Now. What we'll do next is we're going to throw down a heal spell in a way to where it covers the majority of the core with a rage. Those raged uh, skeletons are actually very, very dangerous. And also what I'd like to do is I'd like to put the uh, jump spell in front of that golem there, okay? I want to make sure that golem can uh, jump into the next compartment and do a lot of tanking while he's up there. So let's drop, a, let's drop the jump right there. That's actually going to get a lot of troops in and around this base the golem going in toward this tesla we also have our queen working through a wall well she was what's she gonna do next golem is doing a ton of tanking right now we got witches and skeletons everywhere again without clan castle troops and without a king 
Looks like we're gonna dominate this base. Of course, it was a pretty low level base, which that's the whole point. That's why we're in Risk League. But also, there was no expo. So this is a Town Hall 8.5, technically. Uh, since it's a Town Hall 9 that's refused to upgrade or even put in expos, that's totally fine. Uh, because it just makes their base so much easier to three star. So let's go ahead and pop the Queen's ability here. And all these skeletons are gonna rain down on that spell factory and then close in on this builder hut for the three star. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So look at that. Look at that loot. Five, six hundred thousand gold and six hundred eighty thousand elixir. That was super sick, man. That loot is amazing. Plus thirty six hundred dark elixir is nothing to scoff at. I love it, guys. This loot is amazing, um, and I'm I'm killing it, man. MSMD. Oh, and now we have bowlers. Tony, you're the best, my man. Thank you so much. So, all right, let's 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 just top into... I don't have a progress base on this account, but what I do have, if uh, you guys checked out a previous video where I actually built this base and explained how it works and everything for you guys to be able to use, um, is that all the walls have been maxed out, and I've been upgrading them in a way to where we be able to finish this off very, very easily, and that's by upgrading the wings off this top part of the compartment here. So, let's do... Let's We have to separate there. All right, let's do these two with gold. Gold. 4 million gold. I've got 5.6 million gold, so we're plenty of loot. And this is going to top off all but two of our walls in 3, 2, 1. Bam! All right, there we go. And then the last but certainly not least, actually, this is definitely last, is the final walls on Apollyon. The last two of the 250 or however many is available doing this with 4 million elixir this is a big deal guys because i've been again passively farming this account you know off and on for a while been waiting on these walls to be maxed out because it just it's just awesome to have max walls you know so 4 million elixir apollyon going to max defenses in three two one bam Yes. Okay. That's, this is good stuff, guys. This is great stuff. Now, if I go into edit layout, remove all, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to snap a, a snap. I'm going to take a snapshot of that for the thumbnail, but 250 walls all maxed out. And I want to mention also that this base has now max defenses and a max laboratory. If I go into the, uh, into the laboratory, which is where, where did I put that thing? Am I just, oh, I'm staring at it right there. There it is. Okay. If I go into there, there is absolutely nothing in the lab. I'm done with the lab, done with the defenses, done with the walls. All that's left are the heroes, both level 23. So guys, this is the start of a new series. Again, be looking forward to that. It will be obvious. Believe me. Uh, also, again, celebrating the two-year Klaus anniversary event. Um, so there will be a lots of cool stuff going on in the next week. Definitely follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Join my Discord server. All those good things to be able to enjoy all of that. Um, giveaways on Twitter especially. So follow me especially on Twitter. And be looking forward to some special streams and videos going live within the next week plus one day. As again, our two-year Klaus anniversary is November 6th which is next Monday. So lots of good stuff to look forward to, guys. But that is going to do it for me today as we celebrate maxing Apollyon. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like this video if you did, in fact, like it. And if you like the MSMD strategy, it's awesome, especially for war. Very effective in war if against the right bases that aren't too compartmentalized. Um, oh, more open bases are easier to three-star with MSMD. So that's it for me. I love each and every one of you. Be sure and hit that likes button. Subscribe if you haven't joined the class family. And as always, I will see you all again next time.